Hello everybody, welcome back to PlayStation Access. My name's Ash, and this is a video all about PS4 games you must play on PS5. Now, we're not talking about the huge range of games that can be played on PS5 through backwards compatibility, or games which have PS4 and PS5 versions. What we're talking about in this video are PlayStation 4 titles that have been specifically patched to perform better on PlayStation 5. Basically, a list of some of the best PS4 games going that perform so well on PS5 they are well worth another playthrough. Let's take a look, shall we? First up, the almighty God of War packs an even meaner punch on PS5, meaning you can unleash what would elsewhere be a worrying amount of Spartan rage in gloriously detailed style. This 2018 title is the rebirth of Kratos as he smashes his way through a whole new realm of ancient myths and legends, working to fulfill a personal quest with his son. The pair learning from each other with every step they take through the strange, dangerous lands outside their home. On PS4 Pro, God of War offered the option of targeting 60 frames per second or 4K resolution. On PS5 though, you can have the best of both worlds, highlighting every shiny golden handprint, glowing rune, and little scale on Jormungandr's sweet head in the process. The original performance experience is still on offer for playing in 30fps too, with faster load times available no matter which way you play. Boy, does it look good. It would seem. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart is one of the standout technical performers on PS5, and thanks to a recent patch, the pair's last outing from 2016 is a belter on PS5 as well. This reimagining of the original Ratchet & Clank sees our furry and shiny heroes on a mission to save the galaxy from a planet-destroying threat. Quite the serious task for a game series that is happy to pun its titles up with phrases like going commando, but we move. The key difference on PS5 is that the game runs at 4K and 60 frames per second, having already offered a 4K resolution mode on PS4 Pro at 30 frames per second. In a game packed with detail and action, this has a big impact. Anything that makes collecting up all those bolts somehow even more satisfying, we can absolutely get behind. Next, returning to one of the most emotionally harrowing video games out there might not feel like the most fun idea. But when The Last of Us Part 2 looks this good on PS5, it is pretty hard to resist. This critically acclaimed sequel explores a world where humanity has been ravaged by the Cordyceps brain infection, as well as other bits of humanity, and follows Ellie as she embarks on a journey of bitter vengeance. The Last of Us Part 2 was one of the most technically ambitious games on PS4, which pushed the pro hard to maintain 30 frames per second at a maximum resolution of 1440p. On PS5, the patch maintains this resolution and doubles the refresh rate to a wonderfully smooth 60 frames per second, with an option to pick between that or the original 30fps. Yes. The game is a visual showcase anyway, full of beautiful character work, lighting and landscapes, and this frame rate boost gives the whole thing a truly luxurious feel. Plus, there are improved load times to get you straight back into the brutal action after you've had your throat ripped out by an angry clicker. It all works so smoothly. Whilst we're on the topic of ripping then, we might as well talk about tearing too, with Doom Eternal's badass celebration of all things soaked in blood proving to be even more of a spectacle on PS5. You are the Doom Slayer, humanity's last hope against a gnarly demonic invasion, and you must kill every evil thing in your path to save Earth from annihilation. No biggie. The PS5 patch for Doom Eternal offers three new graphics modes, with ray tracing mode offering some seriously impressive lighting at 1080p slash 60 frames per second, performance mode boosting resolution and refresh rate to 1584p and 120 frames per second, and balance mode running at 4K slash 60 frames per second. The visual fun does not stop there though, with HDR10 and ultra quality style graphics settings also added in this new iteration, meaning you can see every piece of flesh you cleave off in beautifully realised detail. Lovely. Doom Eternal also has cross-gen battle mode support to play with PS4 players, and brings the heft of Eternal's mean firepower to your fingers with adaptive trigger support for the DualSense wireless controller. <laughs> Also in our lineup is the freaker-infested open world of Days Gone, a title that thrusts you into the life of bounty hunter Deacon St. John as he scavenges to survive this tough new world. Similar to The Last of Us Part 2, Days Gone's PS5 patch maintains the resolution, already a dynamic 4K, and concentrates on upping the frame rate. A boost from 30 to 60 frames per second makes a noticeable difference in the game's responsiveness, especially during moments like bike traversal and in the thick of hundred strong freaker hordes because you wouldn't want to miss any of those hollow, gnashing faces coming at you at terrifying speed now, would you? 
Kissing an iconic PlayStation character out with an impressive PS5 update next is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, giving this trilogy closing chapter of Lara Croft's origin story an extra polish. Shadow of the Tomb Raider brings together jungle exploration, stealthy combat, and of course a whole load of raiding tombs as Lara attempts to stop a Mayan apocalypse, honing her impressive skill set as she goes head to head with paramilitary group Trinity along the way. On PS5, the title now runs at 60fps and in 4K, meaning you can get a good look at every gorgeous vista and long forgotten ruin as Miss Croft cuts her way through the environment and her enemies. Ooh, that's the good stuff. To finish off our list, here's an example of what PS5's power can mean for PSVR games, and specifically for the London gangland mayhem of Blood and Truth. The short version of the enhancements here is that on PS5, Blood and Truth offers higher resolution, higher frame rate, and more detailed assets and improved textures. VR titles tend to focus on frame rate, as smoothness and stability are key to the experience. On PS4 Pro, the game runs at 60fps, reprojected into the headset at 120hz. On PS5, it runs at 90fps with a 90hz output, which makes the game more responsive with better image quality under motion. Blood and Truth uses dynamic resolution on all platforms. It adapts, basically, to ensure the frame rate remains steady, but the key here is that on PS4 Pro, the game tops out at 1440p, and on PS5, it can reach 4K. Of course, the PSVR headset is 1080p, but that detail does tell in the experience still. The PS5's SSD also means the world around you is loaded more quickly, and textures and assets appear in the highest possible quality throughout the game. There's no need for the optimization that helped the game run smoothly on PS4. And that's our list. Which of these PS4 games will you be playing on PS5? Let us know in the comments below. This has been PlayStation Access. Don't forget to subscribe for more PlayStation goodness, and we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.